Hello there. Do you have a business analyst interview coming up shortly? If so, this is one of the videos for you. In this video, we're going to cover the top 11 interview questions asked on SQL queries. Hmm. You may be wondering, why would they ask SQL query in a business analyst interview? If you are appearing for a, ro a role of a system analyst, IT business analyst or in a techno functional role, then definitely there will be questions on SQL. So this video will help you prepare for the interview. And also having a techno functional expertise is always considered a plus during the hiring process. So we have a lot to cover. Let's get started. Before we proceed further, I would request you to please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not already done so. And also please go ahead and click on the bell icon so that you will be notified when we will be uploading a new video in the business analyst interview series. We are planning to upload 10 more videos. So please go ahead and click on the bell icon so that you are notified whenever we upload it. Okay, let's get started as we usually do. We look, we take a case study and then answer the questions using the case study. So in this case study, we are going to have a company, an e-commerce company, which is selling electronics like mobile phone, laptop and tab tablet. And this is a particular uh, table in their database called orders, which kind of records uh, who is the customer, what have they ordered, uh, what is the value of the order, in which city they have ordered and also the mode of uh, payment is it cash paypal or credit cards so we're going to use this table and then we're going to uh, derive the, uh, the the queries and also look at the results question number one how do you retrieve all records from a table so this is one of the most commonly asked and the basic question anyone will ask you in an interview so the sql query for that is select star from table name. So in our example, the table name is order. So that's why it's select star from orders. And the result would be all the rows and the fields which we saw in the table would be displayed. Question number two, how do you retrieve only custom name and order value fields? So the select star dis uh, displayed all the fields from the table now the the interviewer will be checking your knowledge on how would you retrieve certain fields which are of interest to you so here the customer name and the order value so the sql query for that is select name which star which is for the customer name and value which is for the order value from orders the table the result would be as such so now if you see the result will have only two fields or two columns corresponding to the customer name and the order value. It won't show all the fields which are, you know, from the table. So this will help to uh, focus while you're doing the analysis when you're looking for only certain values, uh, certain fields and their values. Question number three, how do you retrieve only customers with order value more than $500? So this is again some conditionality is being uh, uh, placed into the question. So the SQL query for this is we're going to select the name and the order value from the table, but we're going to add a conditionality, which is where value is greater than 500. So what this will do is it will only filter out the rows with a uh, order value more than $500. So from our previous example, we had seven rows, but now there's only four rows displayed because only four rows for these four uh, customers, the order value is greater than $500. Again, this will help you uh, while well, performing the analysis. And uh, that's why these are the questions which the interviewer will ask so that to kind of uh, gauge your depth and uh, understanding in the SQL queries. Question number four, how do you retrieve only customers with order value more than 500 and from ordered from Seattle, which is a city. So again, building upon from the previous question here, we are 
further fine tweaking the conditionality and getting a narrower result. So the SQL query for this remains the same as what we saw in the previous question. Only the additional thing is where value is 500 and city equal to Seattle. So and city equal to Seattle will be the additional part in the SQL query, which will give us a result as such, uh, where we had four rows from the previous uh, query, but this query will return only one because this is the only uh, row which satisfies both these conditions where the value is greater than 500 and also the customer ordered from Seattle. So that's why we are again fine tuning it. So these are all again uh, uh, conditional, uh, conditional questions which will be asked to gauge your understanding on SQL queries. Uh, more, most of the time it will be based on scenario. They won't just ask, um, can you give me an example with this and that? How do you filter? It will be most on a business scenario so that they will they, they understand that you understand the concept of how do you take a business query uh, and a business requirement and translate it to a SQL query. Moving on, question number five. So again, we are uh, asking how do you retrieve only customers with order value more than $500 or more is cash. Again, these are all conditionalities, but here it's uh, or conditionality, either this or that. So we'll look at the query. It is the same as what we saw previously. The only change is after value is greater than 500, we have a or clause and then more equal to cash. So we are interested in customers with order value more than 500 or who was paid in cash. So the query will return as such. If you see there are five uh, rows here and I want to point out the row number two, Smith, even though his order value is less than 500, which is 450, because his cash mode, the mode is cash, the SQL query will return this particular result. Moving on, question number seven. So here uh, the question would be, how do you retrieve customers whose order values between 100 and 500? So this is a range question. I think we covered values. Now this is a range. So the SQL query for this is, again, name value from orders, but we're going to use a clause called between. So we're going to use a where value between 100 and 500. So what this SQL query will basically re, uh, retrieve is all the uh, order values ranging from 100 to 500 and the result would kind of look like this. So these are the three records which are having a value greater than 100 but lesser than 500. So this is again really useful when you're doing the analysis and also translating the business requirement into functional specs and also sometimes the ITBAs provide uh, inputs to the technical spec and that's where all these queries will come in handy. Pushing forward question number seven, how do you retrieve only customers ordered from Seattle and Baltimore? So the previous question was more of a range and this question is um, values. If the value equals to this or that, how it will happen. So one of the uh, syntax we can use is the in in syntax. So we select name city from orders remain the same, but the where conditionality changes with city in Seattle, Baltimore. So which will result the records or the rows of, of customers ordered from Seattle or Baltimore. Moving on, question number eight. So this is a very interesting question. How do you find the total number of rec orders? So the interviewer might just ask, how do you find the total number of orders in the database? So the syntax for that is count star. So if you hit select count star from orders, it will give you the number of records from the table. So in our case study or example, we had seven records and that's the reason the result would have uh, written seven. Question number nine, how do you insert a order to the table? So this is, so we, all the queries we looked at till now is more of uh, fetching the data. So this query would be 
insertion or addition of a order of a record to the table so let's let's see the sql query for the same so this is the query insert into orders which is the table name and we are going to list on all the fields of the particular table order number name category value city and mode and then we are going to input the values uh, which we are going to add to these particular fields using the values syntax and then we give order number is eight name of the customer is jane the category of purchase is mobile value of the purchase is 300 city from the purchase where the purchase is made is new york and the mode of uh, payment is cash so this is a query once the query is executed the result would look like this the table would have an additional row which is the last row or order number eight and all the parameters which we have uh, supplied as values will be added to that particular row of the table question number 10 how do you update an order value so we looked at uh, fetching the records then we looked at how we add a record to a table let's say we have added a record to a table but the value is not correct it's incorrect due to an error so we can use the SQL query with update to update it to the correct value so the syntax would be something like this update orders set city equal to Baltimore so the city we had entered as part of the insertion was New York but which was incorrect actually the customer ordered from Baltimore so now that's why we are updating it using set city is equal to Baltimore where order number is 8 so this order number where, or, where order number is equal to 8 is the clause basically it will search for this particular record we know it's unique because order number is unique and then it will look for the city and replace whatever value with Baltimore so post the execution of this query row order number 8 would look something like th like this everything will be the same except the city would be updated from New York to Baltimore question number 11 the last question in this video how do you find customers with minimum and maximum order value so is just again an uh, query for analysis so if you want to find what is a minimum order value the syntax is select min value which is the field name from orders so this would result in 225 because this is the minimum order value in the orders table similarly if you want to look at what is the maximum value we want to find out what is the maximum order value then the syntax is similar select instead of min it will be max value which is a field from the orders table and the result would be thousand so if you've seen earlier thousand is the highest order value placed by a customer till now and that's the reason thousand would be written so again these are all um, kind of uh, analysis uh, queries uh, and it and it can be comes in handy during uh, the analysis phase so that's about it from a, a questions and answers perspective so it's only 11 questions again as i told earlier these are all very simple queries but if you don't get this right you won't progress further in the interview uh, the interviewer might not be even interested to ask more so i know these are basics but it's get it's uh, you know always good to uh, revise the basics and in the next two videos i'll be covering most the more advanced sql queries and also some more concepts of sql like rdbms um, what are the different types of uh, uh, keys primary key for foreign key all those things i'll be covering in the next set of videos so please uh, make sure you're you subscribe to this uh, uh, to our youtube channel and click on the bell icon so that whenever we load it you'll be notified Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, I know it's a relatively shorter video uh, to the videos which we upload, but I just want to keep it simple to the simple SQL queries. So did you enjoy this video? If so, again, I would request you to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also um, uh, have a look out for the part two and part three of this uh, training series on SQL. And also we post uh, videos on uh, business analyst uh, prep uh, tools, tutorials. So 
make sure again you're subscribed and uh, I have included the links to the business analyst interview question and answer uh, series playlist. So there are around uh, five videos already out there covering over 50 plus questions. So please make sure you go ahead and check it out until the next video. Thanks once again for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. -bye.